हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस इज आर यूट्यूब चैनल वेलकम टू बीटा कॉन्स यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आल बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू ए वॉक थ्रू ओवर द लाइब्रेरी ऑफ वाई फाइनेंस सो वाई फाइनेंस इज ए लाइब्रेरी दैट इज बिल्ट ओवर याहू फाइनेंस ए पी आई टू ग्रैप द डेटा सो यूजिंग वाई फाइनेंस यू कैन फैच वेरियस डेटाज ऑफ ए पर्टिकुलर टिकर और लेट्स ए पर्टिकुलर स्टॉक फ्रॉम याहू फाइनेंस so without wasting any much time let's move over to a jupiter notebook and let me walk you through uh, the entire code so if you want to like read about documentation this is the documentation page so pipi.org/project/yfinance okay so here we have the jupiter notebook and the first process is importing that libraries so if you do not have the libraries installed you can always do pip install by finance so i already have this libraries installed so it will be like giving me a message that requirement is already satisfied so here it is so we'll move ahead and first of all we'll get the ohlc data that is open high low and close data of a particular stock so let's i have taken the stock example as reliance and in the place of reliance you can substitute it with any values so let me substitute it with tcs that is tata consultants services a major stock in indian stock market exchange so i'll just i have just replaced the name of the stocks and uh, i'll run it and as you can see that we have got the data from 2017 all the way up to 2019 specifically the date we specified so we have to specify three parameters we have like uh, option to specify various parameters but here we have specified the name of the stock the start date and the end date and it has given us the daily data end of day data for the particular tcs stock so we have open high low close adjusted close and volume okay so what do we mean by adjusted close so adjusted close is adjusted value of the stock along with dividends along with any splits so even if there is some kind of splits or some kind of dividend it will have the adjusted value so you can like um this data is being used in most of the uh, analysis that we do okay so if we just want all the data all the way up to like recent date so as of today it's 10th of july so if we just specify the start date it will uh, it will take the data all the way from starting of the start date that is 1st jan 2011 all the way up to last working day so it was 8th of july 2022 the data format will be similar open high low close adjusted close and volume okay using this ticker suppose we want to download data points for multiple stocks at the same time so all we have to do we need to do is specify the name of the stocks with spaces okay so here i have download i have written the name of three stocks that is reliance tcs and ongc and i want all the data points all the way from 2011th jan 1st all the way up to last working day okay so here we have the parameters will be the same adjusted close close high low and open okay so i'll sh show you and volume of course and we'll get the data for all the three stocks that we have specified ongc reliance tcs okay so you can also see the dates uh, date column that started from 3rd jan 2011 all the way up to like 8 july 2022 okay so it will grab the working days and it will take the data okay. using this library we can also fetch intraday data okay so for many of the analysis we need more highly granular granular data okay so we can go up to like uh, parameters of 1 minute 2 minute 5 minute 15 minute 30 minutes 60 minute 90 minutes and when we go on a daily time frame we need to we need to specify if it is not uh, one day okay so if it is one day you don't need to specify but if it is like kind of five day one week one month or three months you need to specify what kind of like data uh, granularity do you need okay so here i am going to uh, download the data for like uh, five minutes and when we are like uh, going on intraday time frame we only have the luxury to download data for last 60 days and if we want to like go for 1 minute data for the stocks we only have the luxury to download the data of last 7 days okay so when i say 7 days it's only like 5 working days excluding saturdays and sundays okay so we here we have the data for 
two stocks reliance and tcs from the start date that is like 7th of uh, july and till the end date that is kind of 8th of july so just two days of data for interval of one minute okay so this is all about the ohlc data that is open high low close data that may be like uh, used by analyst to do some technical analysis okay some kind of like candlestick analysis some kind of technical indicator analysis going to the fundamental data that means the company specific data that is kind of like generated in financial reports okay so for that one we have to first specify a ticker symbol okay and from that ticker sim symbol we'll be getting all the data so similarly going ahead like along with the flow we have taken reliance as the ticker name and we're specifying it in the variable name reliance okay so first of all we have specified so what is there in the reliance let's check it out so it's an ticker object okay that is a y finance object so going ahead from this reliance we'll be fetching various data okay so first of all it's action reliance dot actions so what are we going to get here we are going to get da date dividends and splits if it is there okay so from all the way up to 1996 all the way up to like recent uh, 2021 6 that is 11 so it's last year okay so we have got date as well as the dividends okay maybe this is in percentage you can verify it on your own and also we have got the stock splits okay. what is the factor of the split and what is the date on which it happened so it may be like there may be dividend there may there may not be any stock split there may be stock split there may not be any dividend so everything is kind of combined in this data frame in chronological order okay if we only want split we can also get it so going further we have various data points from where we can get the financials actually so if we run this cell that is reliance.financials you can see that we have got data for 2018 2019 2020 and 2021 okay so i have got the data for last four years you can see the indexes that is research development income before taxes gross profits uh, all total revenue total operating expenses cost of revenue so these are all kind of like uh, data points that analysts need in their fundamental analysis per gauging the performance of a company what is the kind of like earning the company is having how much is, is it generating a revenue how much is it generating profits how the profit matrices are growing on year on year basis or let's say quarter on quarter basis okay so uh, i have just showed you this yearly basis okay so we can also go for quarterly financials so you can see we all also have this quarterly financial this is also for four quarters we can't get like uh, before that one so this is march 2021 and uh, june 2021 and so on okay going further we all have more kind of like data points in balance sheet we again have some more similar like uh, thing for balance sheet that is quarterly okay going forward we have cash flow we have quarterly cash flow we have earnings we have quarterly earnings okay so you can explore this library there is so much of data that is being provided for free of cost you can use it for personal use and if you need some more information if you need, want to explore more always there is a link for documentation and the same notebook is being uploaded on my github profile and you can like uh, go to the link that will be there in the comment sections uh, or it, it will be pinned up and then you can like explore it out on your own okay so if you follow this link you will reach the documentation section of Y finance and you can explore more so that's it for this video thank you very much and if you want more such information more such videos you can subscribe us